Hello everyone, it's Uncle Destiny here with you. The time for us to get the reading in for the month of November. Uh, right now it's still just a little bit of October left while I'm doing this reading. And we are nearing uh, the 31st, which is also known as All Hallows' Eve or the Feast of Samhain. Some would also know All Saints' Day or the Day of the Dead. This is particularly a period when the veil between the spirit world and the living world is thin. So it is very easy to make contact, or I should say it's easier to make contact with the other side and our ancestors. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they have to say for this coming November and what it holds for all of us. So let's go ahead and get them in and proceed from there. Sure. Alright, so we now have our reading bones thrown, and anything that did not end up on the reading surface has now been taken off. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at what we have. And as you can see, we have the copper piece that is slightly off the reading surface. We also have the, sh the shell, which is turned inward, so again, we're going to be dealing inward. We have the dice with a number 11 up. And then we have our main bones, which form this almost like looks almost like a peace sign or at least the Y shape now what we've got here with their positioning and so forth this one is work this one is family this one is the world and what strikes me more so with this is that it's a divergence it's like it's that aspect of coming to a Y intersection now the question is, which way are you traveling on that Y intersection? Are you coming from this way and now having to make the choices about going left, or right, left and right? Or are you coming down one of these lines and having the choice of either continuing down that path you were on or diverting off into another one? And it's a bit of a broken Y. So it's not a perfect intersection. And that's what makes this so interesting, but also tricky. As I said, work, home, or work, family, is the second bone. Work, family, the world. And if we're coming from this place where we get to the intersection, we can either go towards our family, or we go towards the world. And as such, that is a very diverted path. I mean, it our work sense does not stay in alignment with the world. So what that says is that whatever we're going to be dealing with uh, for work-wise, and again, that is not just what we do to pay the bills, but what our life purpose is, may be at odds with the world. It may be at odds with what direction or what influence the world has. Now, right now, it is in better alignment with family. So there is nothing wrong with you taking the path of family. There's also nothing wrong with you taking the path of the world. Now, mind you, if you take the path of the world, it's going to take it's going to take a effort to change over onto this pathway. Now, if you stay on the aspect of your work and purpose following that of your family, there's also still a, a, still a bit of a jog that happens to stay on that path. And what that says is that whatever the purpose, and again, work that you're here to do, your family plays a role in it. Now, again, family does not just mean your blood family. It also means your family of choice, your friends, the community that you choose to build with and choose to align yourself with, the act of intention. So there is something in that act of intention, that act of that family, that act of that community that also requires a bit of realignment. But for the most part, you're all staying on that same path. Now, why that's important to also, and I bring up the aspect of it's not just your blood family, it can be your uh, family of intention. <sighs> the difficulties we are seeing right now in the world come from an aspect of, of of beliefs and sometimes those beliefs 
and there's those the faith that's put in them is not always what it seems. I look at some of these the situations and the the reality of that family does not necessarily guarantee safety, love, and warmth. Sometimes the family of choice offers us safety, love, and warmth, as opposed to the family we're born in. This is a hard lesson for some to understand who have not necessarily been in situations where that trust, that safety, that love has been disrupted. And then when something happens and they find them, their family members picking all of these other people, all of these other things over the claims of family, they can't understand why. And that's because those other things, those other peoples, those other groups provided the safety, the love, the trust that the original family didn't. Which also makes it easier for them to break with the idea of we protect family. And that's also part of the jog that happens here is that if we're coming from this path of coming to the intersection, it's the point of are we jogging to be more in line with our family or is our family in some ways be jogging to become more in line with us now if we come from the other direction coming down the pathways fam likewise family and those members uh, and the focus of what you're doing in family may jog as your work and your purpose becomes more prominent and it starts moving away from the idea that Perhaps family is everything. Sometimes family isn't everything. Sometimes work is more important because of what it plays to the greater good. Equally so, if you're coming down this path of the world and that you've been living in it and focusing on the world, sometimes your path must be narrowed and the world stops being the focus and maybe the family, maybe whatever that work is becomes the primary focus of what you're dealing with. Now, why that I bring this up is the importance of there are choices that are being made. And that's been a big thing about this these last few years. Choices. What are the choices that you're making? Are you going left or are you going right? Are you staying on the path that you're on or are you changing a path? And that's what we get when we come with this path of following this one down. I can continue down this way, or I can go off that way. I can come this way, or go either of the two directions. Choice, and especially around what your work and purpose is. And the fact that the work and work bone is the one that is also on top, means that that is the one thing that no matter where, where you go, will be a factor. You're going to be, no matter what happens, you are here on this plane of existence to work for a purpose. So you're going to be following that. Now, we move over to the shell piece, which, as you said, as earlier, it says it's internal. So this is, again, a lot more about internal choices, internal decisions. And that comes with the aspect of choice. Which choice are you making, left or right? Stay on the path or move away. You have to make those choices. Now, the fact that it's also got the broken rib bone uh, next to it says that this is going to be a... Ch There's going to be difficulty in that choice. There's also, And if you notice, that it's also pointed towards the work bone. So, the sense that our sense of purpose and work, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be painful. It may not always be pleasant for us to hold to that aspect of work. And that's the thing, that work and that purpose is what we came here into this life for. This goes far beyond our families. This may also go far beyond the world. And we have to recognize those difficult choices that come around it. But equally, you notice that there's several support bones, and also this one here, which kind of reminds you of a wishbone, which also has that three-point to directional feel to it. So the, the choices that we're going to be making when we make the internal decisions about what we're doing 
are about balance, are about difficulty, and are also about our wishes. And all of those are coming together in the decision that's going to be made, but it is going to be an internal decision. Right. Now, we also have all of our other support bones around here. And if you notice that our biggest clusterings are here next to the work, and then this one over here. Now, this is the one that's closest and in clo pretty much closest contact to the work bone. And this is why the aspect that wor whatever our work is in November is going to be much more of our focus. It's also going to be highly much more intellectual because of this bone here. This is the one that is the top of the spinal column and what it is going to be birthing but it's also going to bring in a lot of the inspiration and you see here we also have the other broken rib bone here that's more of like the cane the crutch that is flowing in and that says to me that there is going to be some balance there's going to be support but there's also the aspect of um because this also reminds me of a bird there's a uh with the you know the ones you might see in a painting uh a sense of flight and freedom and that's something that's all going to come into this aspect of the work bone now we also have a, a support bone here closest to the family we've got a support bone here closest to the world and there's just meaning that there's support in either of those it's going to there's only a single one and especially with the distance this one has to the family one it's going to be that one's going to take a little more to find it while this one's going to be much more readily apparent so those are things to keep in mind, especially when you're, if you're coming up and doing the choice to do left or right. But there is a freedom that is going to come with your work that you must always remember is there. And that's what we're seeing here with the support, with the inspiration, with the flight. Now for our other bones, we've got this one here that sits in the sort of in the fork, in the truth. This is the truth of what will happen if we take this path. This is the one, this is what we need to be looking at. This is the star that no matter if we go left or right, we are focusing on. And that is also providing us anchor and reference point. Then we have these here. All of these, which are also closest to our dice. We're going to get back to the dice. The dice is going to be our last part. But we've got a lot of support. And now we'll go ahead and talk about the dice now. We have number 11. And this one goes into the astrological house of groups, friends, social, causes, and society. Now notice, again, it's right next to our world bone, which is composed of all of this. So there's a lot of issues and support in this next month that are going to be centering around the groups that we are either a part of or we are leaving, our friendships that we are making, developing, or ending, our social causes that we are a part of or pulling ourselves away from and society in general since next month is the election period midterms elections here in the united states we are very much going to be focusing on our society we're going to be so very much focusing on our social causes we are going to be so much focusing on whether the choices we are making affect our friends and the groups that we are part of so this is all going to be very much in this and there is support there how that support though flows is up to you it's up to the again the choices you make and that's the biggest thing about this this month of november is about choices and how we go from there so this is also another factor that's coming in this is a distance factor and this is the factor that is reminding us that any choice that we make we must always make sure that we're thinking not just of this moment but of tomorrow a week from now a month from now even a year from now about the choices we're making and are they providing the balance are they providing the focus that we need so lastly let's get over here to the copper piece this one is a half, half on and half off the reading surface. And this is our conduit for spirit. And yes, there's a component here that, especially with this being the coming upon the thinning veil, the relationship between the spiritual side and the physical side. This balance that we are in is important. And there is a conduit flow, not just from the higher order energies, but 
but also to their ancestral realm and to our physical realm. And it's about decisions. Now, I believe last month, I, in the reading, I said spirit was going to be in a place that is you're either going to be doing the hard introspection or the soft introspection. And if you're doing the soft introspection, it wasn't going to stand behind you. It was going to step away. And at the fact that we've got some parts that are off of here, I would say that there are those out there who did take the soft introspection and spirit is in the process of pulling away. There are those who took the hard introspection and spirit is in the process of stepping closer to you. It is both and, not either or, in this month. Now, how can you tell the difference? Well, you will know when spirit is there guiding you. But if you're feeling lost, vacant, if you're feeling completely separated from your groups, your friends, your social causes and society and all, then you probably took the soft approach and spirit is stepping away. If you're feeling greater connection to this, then spirit is stepping closer to you. But you made a choice, and it is not up to spirit what spirit is. It's the spirit gave you the choice of what to do, and spirit is going to let you deal with the ramifications of your choices. So, that is our overall reading for the month of November. You have choice. Use it. If you don't, that is a choice too. And do not be surprised when you feel lost and alone. This is Uncle Destiny on behalf of the ancestors, the spirits, and the Orishas, and the gods, the creator of all things. May blessings be with you. May you make choices with wisdom, not just intelligence. And may you find love and strength in the all, the unity of the all. Ashe. Mm -hmm.